video. There's the Taz sewn in. The, this mask is the 8x6 piece, two pieces of fabric that I sewed together all in one step. Flipped it right side out like in the other videos where I had shown. And here is where I am stitching the opening closed. It's a small opening. I don't usually leave a very large gap there. And it's naturally going to roll down into place. I like to clean up the edges just a little bit. If you're in a hurry, that's something not necessary. You could just leave it folded down one time and tack it down with your needle and thread. I like to roll it in extra time just so that way there's no frayed end showing. But that's because I just have a little bit of extra time to do that. If I didn't have time, I wouldn't mess with it. Um, so then I started here. I'm going to do the same running stitch with the needle and thread. Go to here. Flip the mask over and do the same thing on this side. Roll this edge under and then just with the same stitch come back to where you started. All in one little step. It's simple and then it's finished. And there's what it looks like, where I got it started, and how I do my running stitches. That's about the space I do all my stitches. When I rock the needle back and forth through the fabric. So anyway, yes, they pucker. This pattern will leave them puckered on the side. They won't be the flat, laying down, typical pattern. But they're very comfy. They're soft. They're still gathered. It still stretches when you put it on your face. It will still stretch to form over your face. Um, soft, washable. I like them. Um, that's where the ties sewn in. It's in there pretty good. Oops, sorry. Getting everything in the way. So, yep. That's it simple simple pattern simple process and if you're stitching it by hand it's about the simplest way to go to save your finger from aching from doing all the extra steps where a sewing machine would do it a little differently so anyway that's that's the process <laughs>